Hello and welcome back to another Dark Souls Science video. I'm Newtaf and today I'm going to be talking about jogging and running speeds. I think we have all felt intuitively that they are affected by equip load, but I thought it might be useful to look at whether a few other plausible things affect them too. I tested eight different setups in involving equip load. Zero percent, twenty-five percent, twenty-five percent with dark wood grain ring equipped, twenty-five percent using armor instead of weapons, twenty-five percent plus zero point one, fifty percent, fifty percent using armor instead of weapons again, and a hundred percent. The zero compared to twenty-five percent tells us whether jog and run speeds are affected by any of the fast roll equip load breakpoints, uh, like um, roll recovery times are. 25% plus 0.1 compared to 50% gives us a similar comparison but for mid-roll breakpoints. You'll see from the video proof that the jog and run speeds are only affected by equip load at 25%, 50%, and 100%. I threw in a comparison with Darkwood Grain Ring just to show whether it affects anything. It made no difference at all in any of the tests. In two tests, I achieved exactly 25% and 50% equip burden using only armor pieces rather than weapons, and I kind of tried to sh uh, show those using heavier armor pieces. We've seen from ENB's videos that heavy armor affects stamina regeneration speed, so I wanted to see if it also affected jog and run speeds. Uh, as it turns out, it does not. Uh, at the end of the video, I also include an appendix showing how I set up the experiment to eliminate variability, if you're into that sort of thing. You might have noticed that the 100% equip burden run didn't finish before my stamina ran out. My bad, I should have put the finish line closer. But if you look here at the rate of stamina drain, it's practically the same across the board. Maybe faster for 25% by a couple of frames. However, since I'm going slower, the stamina consumption per unit distance is much higher for 100%, so I run out before the finish line. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello. I thought it would be useful to explain my experimental setup. Uh, often the act of setting up the experiment is even more interesting than the results. For this video, I needed a few things. Firstly, I needed a long, straight place to run uh, in, a, in a straight line. Uh, I had two candidates. Uh, one was the bridge in Undeadburg where the Hellkite Drake shows up, and the other one was here in sunny Anne Orlando. Um, I ended up ruling out the Hellkite Drake bridge because it's actually a cleverly disguised loading screen. As you run from one end to the other, you can encounter a loading stutter, and I didn't want that to interfere with my timing. Um, there's no such problem here in Anor uh, Moreover, as we'll see later, or as you saw earlier, uh, we have this nice grid pattern on the ground, and that's good for making sure that you're running in a straight line. Secondly, I needed a way to make my character uh, run in a straight line for all of the different tests. Um, I started out trying to do this video on the 360, but I'm just not a, a good enough gamer to you know, push my 360 controller in an exactly straight line. I always get a bit of drift, um, so that's no good. So I ended up going to PC instead, and I ended up uh, also devising a method to um, line myself up perfectly. So what I do is I walk up uh, to this wall where I'm going to be starting. And I'll kind of try and line myself up with uh, this line on the bottom, basically up against the wall. Now, and that, that was with my controller. Now I'm going to switch to using my keyboard. I'm going to use WASD to push against the wall. Uh, as you notice, it kind of evened itself out. Actually, I can show this again. Even if I get this angle a bit wrong, see Dark Souls will, will even it out. After several seconds, um, I'm running straight into the wall, uh, and there's no no problem. So you can, from this angle you can see eventually things will stop moving. It's a little bit subtle and hard to tell, but if you wait long enough it works. Now, uh, when I actually want to do the run, I'll just walk in the opposite direction using WASD again. And um, since it's using keyboard and it's got the cardinal directions there, I am assured that I'm walking in a straight line. And um, 
just in case you need to check there you can look at my character's feet lined up with that grid we talked about before and see that that's working uh, finally um, I made these two marked messages on the ground there's not that that's from somebody else because I'm playing online yeah you know what I'm doing this online there's one and the other one is uh, way up ahead at the start so I put one one message at the start and one message at the end um, so what I can do let's line myself up again when I start my run uh, as I walk away I can look later in the video editing and see the exact frame where that uh, check your message um, pop-up disappeared and when I get to the end I can also check the exact frame where that check your message uh, prompt shows up and with that I can uh, do the exact synchronization between the different runs that that I need to get the kind of frame by frame precise comparisons so I hope this was useful um, I, I think it's fun to devise these experiments um, maybe you enjoy the insight into it too thanks for watching